Okay, ladies and gentlemen, supplement one, I mean, uh, I, yeah, actually it's called supplement B1 in Math 1105 continues. You're given this function, m of x equals x minus 5 divided by x, and number 5, you're given the function g of x equals 5 over 3 minus x. Okay, first what I, the first thing I want you to notice, on the last video you saw that we had polynomial functions and the domain was all real numbers. In other words, you could feed a polynomial function anything you want to. Well, this function that you're looking at right here is not called a polynomial function. This function is called rational. And anytime you have a rational function, all right, rational means it's a polynomial function divided by another polynomial function, and this one has a variable and a denominator. So you got a problem. Anytime you have a rational function, here's the first thing you should do. Let's state RVs. Well, remember how you state RVs. Look in the denominator and prevent the denominator from becoming zero. In this particular problem, you know the way to prevent it. Your RVs, not recreational vehicles, people, but restricted values, x cannot be zero. Because if it was, if you put zero in a denominator, you would be dividing by zero. So your only RV here is x cannot be zero. In problem number five, the denominator is three minus x. This is also a rational function. When you state restricted values here, x cannot be three, right? Because if you put in the number three, this denominator would then become zero and you would be dividing by zero. So when you're trying to find the domain of a rational function, your first step is to state restricted values. In this case, x can't be 0, and in this case, x cannot be 3. Now remember, the directions ask for the domain. The domain here would be the x values you can use. Well, in problem 4, there's only one number you can't use, and that would be 0. So if I drew a number line, what I'm doing on that number line is I'm going to zero and I'm putting a hole there. Everything else is part of my domain. You understand that? The domain means what can I use. I can use any number except zero. So I threw that out by putting a hole there. Well that means, remember this direction is negative infinity. This direction is positive infinity. I cannot use zero, but I can use anything from here up to zero. So the way I write that in interval notation is negative infinity to zero, but I don't put a bracket on zero, I put a paren on zero. And remember what the paren means. Go close to zero, but do not include it. Then I hop around zero, I put a union sign, which means I'm now going to another piece and I list all the numbers that are greater than zero, and the way I would write that is from zero to infinity. And this answer, people, negative infinity to, the, to zero with a paren, union zero to infinity, and zero has a paren, not a bracket. This is my domain in interval notation. So, in problem number five, we do the same thing. Whenever we're finding the domain of a rational function, we first state restricted values. x cannot be 3. We go to our number line. Okay. This direction is negative infinity. This direction is positive infinity. But this time we find the number 3 and we throw it out. That's what the open circle means. Throw it out. All of these numbers going even all the way to negative infinity are included in my domain. All of these numbers are included in my domain. So my domain is going to be written in two pieces. This piece is going to be written negative infinity comma 3 again with a paren. Remember what paren means. A paren means get close to 3 but do not include it. Okay? So it would be numbers like 2.999999999999999. You get my drift? 
and then I put a union because there's another piece, and now I pick up all the numbers to the other side of 3, and that would be from 3 to infinity. This is my answer for domain. Negative infinity to 3, union 3 to infinity. No bracket, no bracket. Because if you put a bracket, you would be including the restricted value, and the domain is not allowed to have the restricted value in it. If you tried to put 3 into this function, you would get an undefined mess. Okay, so this is my answer to what is the domain. So remember, your, remember basically it's a three-step procedure. When you have a rational function, state the restricted value, draw a number line, put an open circle on any restricted value, the open circle means you're throwing it out, shade in everything else, which means I'm keeping it, and then turn your answer into interval notation. And we're done.